my name is Kelly McGillicott and I'm one of the educators here with Bywater Solutions and I have a short tutorial on circulation, how to do an on-site checkout and specify a due date. Now while you're in the circulation area, there are a few options that you have depending on your library preferences. So I'm going to go over those today. I'm going to pull up a patron account. And here, under the patron's name and the, the area to scan a barcode, I have an option called Checkout Settings. I'm going to click those Checkout Settings and you can see the options that are listed here. Now, while I check out to a patron the, um, into this area, the CERC and Fine Rules will determine what type of patron is checking out and what type of item they're checking out and that will determine their due date. However, if a staff member wanted to change that due date for some reason, whether they needed to extend it or shorten it, there is that opportunity here in that specified due date. You would have to enter the due date prior to checking out the item, so we'll do that here. I can either type in the date, or if I click in this box a um, calendar will populate. So I'm going to give um, this patron just one week. So I'm going to choose the 19th and then I'm going to hit done and then it will say that it's now due on September 19th. I can click this remember for session so all the items that I check out during this session will have this um, specific due date. Once I've specified my due date, I can go up here and I can go ahead and scan the item. As you can see, now it is due on the 19th. The other option that you have here is this on-site checkout. And once again, this is, depending on your library's preference, if this is something that you are going to be using this enhancement. This would allow the um, patron to check something out and it just gives that day, that period of time as one day to not leave the library. So if your um, library had maybe laptops or devices that were allowed to circulate during the day would, but would need to be returned before you close, you can utilize this on-site checkout. So I'm going to go ahead and click the on-site checkout and you see today's date is September 12th and it's going to populate 2359 is when it is due. I can alter this now using these and say well we close at um, We close at 3 o'clock today, so I'm going to have to have it back by 3 o'clock. So now I've specified that due date for the on-site checkout. I've clicked this. This populates a time in there. And then I can go ahead and scan that item in. Scan that item to the patron. Once I do that, you can see that now the item tsunamis and other natural disasters is in red that it's an on-site checkout and I have that due date of today at three o'clock. Now our last item here on these checkout settings is automatic renewal. Now this is something that your library would have to have set up. This automatic renewal will allow the item to be automatically renewed if your library has the appropriate cron job running for this and also that there is no hold on the item. So if you went ahead and click that and um, scanned in an item then that would um, be able to be renewed automatically. Once again you would need a cron job to be running for your library as well as for no holds to be on there. This was a short tutorial on just a few checkout settings available in your Koha system. Thank you for watching this tutorial, which is a production of Bywater Solutions.